60% of the world's wildlife population has been wiped out in just the last 40 years. That's according to a new report from the World Wildlife Fund. They're calling it a mind-blowing wildlife crisis and they say human impact is to blame. They warn uh, that the efforts being made now to protect the natural world are not enough to keep pace with the speed of man-made destruction. Habitat destruction, mass consumption and pesticide use are major culprits, but global warming is quickly becoming another one. Uh, well, joining me now to discuss this is Dr. Martin Taylor. He's a conservation biologist with the World Wildlife Fund. Good morning to you, Dr. Taylor. Uh, the report there, the report there paints a, a, a sobering picture. What would that picture look like in 50 years or 100 years time if, if we don't change anything? Well, we're looking at a, a crisis, not just for wildlife, uh, but for ourselves, for humans. Uh, because uh, by bringing the earth to the brink of, of uh, su such a crisis for wildlife means also a crisis for us, our overuse of resources, degradation of oceans uh, and forests. Um, they support us. We've only got one planet. Um, and so, you know, by 2050, for example, there, there'll be only one-tenth of the planet uh, that will be free of human impact. At the moment, it's about only a quarter of the planet is free of human impact. Uh, so we've, we've got to rein in our impact. We believe it's possible to do that and still have a prosperous uh, and equitable uh, way of living on, on planet Earth. And across the 130-page the uh, report, there are obviously uh, countless uh, uh, priorities that we need to tackle. Can you just pull out for you what the most pressing priority or perhaps you know, one or two priorities would be? Well, well, here in Australia and actually all through the tropics, uh, it's, it's habitat bulldozing, bulldozing of forests, uh, mostly just to produce uh, livestock pasture. That's the huge problem. Uh, so, for example, uh, in Australia, you'll be surprised to learn we're the only developed country on a list of 11 global deforestation fronts, which includes you know, things that won't surprise people like the Amazon and the Congo Basin, but Australia, Eastern Australia is in there too. And that's because um, various provincial governments here have have relaxed or have, have loosened laws that, that stop uh, or reined in deforestation. So that this mass bulldozing of forests uh, is, is a huge problem for wildlife because if you don't have a habitat, there's no way of living. And you're calling uh, for an international treaty, the World Wildlife Fund is calling for an international treaty, something yes. like the Paris Accord. Uh, how feasible uh, do you think that is? Is there political appetite for that? Well, we, we want to create political appetite. We, we want uh, people to realise the urgency uh, of this crisis uh, and to create the political will to do something about it. We, we've seen that with, with climate change to some extent, of course, there's... Uh, we're we're no, by no means uh, in a good place, even on climate change. 